glory to the Sweden Empire. We are back in the legendary of the legacy of the Vikings. Where, as you guys know, we took a lot of land last episode and basically racked up a lot of management problems. So, I'm expecting we're going to have to be dealing with a lot of that kind of stuff for a very, very long time. Because, oh my goodness. I, I, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's, uh, that's all I gotta say, I, you know, this was me, I, I did what I had to do, and it ultimately cost me a lot, so we're gonna have to deal with that, and a culture accepted? What? I finally, wait, wait, this happened naturally too? My king, our subjects who embrace Danish have finally been able to prove, oh, thank you, we are now accepted, and now everyone, here comes the tense part where a hundred thousand revolts start happening all at once all at once I'm, I'm preparing for the worst right now I'm gonna go stick certain people in certain zones so that we can try to do oh my goodness that's even a big army okay I'm gonna group all my men right here and we're just gonna go then go after this whole entire zealot deal cuz I'm not gonna let these of course guys you guys know me already I'm not gonna let these guys uh, bully me around like seriously I'm not converting to orthodoxy are you kidding me? That would be like suicide in my opinion. Oh. But. Yeah. And then over here then there's this war. Uh, I don't know why we're still stuck in it. Really? I don't know why. Because Lith Lithuania is just wanting to be in it. Which is not. Like it's like really. Can I just get out of it? We're not even. Sad news. The great statesman of we has died. Uh, world marriage. Oh. Phew. That stinks. Do you guys want a royal marriage again? Cause if you guys don't, I'm probably gonna lose you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Like if if we don't have a royal marriage, I'm probably not going to to stay with you guys. I've had about enough of you guys and your wars. This war I'm in is for no dang reason. Dynastic Eshens royal marriage. Okay, yes, I could increase my standards of royal marriage, but I honestly don't think I will. <laughs> Lithuania's eventually gonna become one of my main enemies and well actually let me think how strong are they right now seems like they can raise a decent amount of army by the way how much can I raise now 28 so I can basically double my forces right now if I really want to that's awesome that is severely awesome too bad right now oh my goodness they, just, they destroyed just enough of those guys to where I can now go to kill them myself thank you thank you also these are mostly my mercs yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to build in more of my mercs up, or at least delete a lot of my mercs, because mercs cost you money. Like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but mercs cost you a ton of money. Okay, now they all escaped over there. Oh, my, Lithuania. Okay, you know what? Is that Lithuania? Oh, my goodness, Lithuania, you guys. Actually, I take back everything I just said. You guys, we are definitely getting a royal marriage. Are you kidding me? We are now bros for life. You guys are dealing with my rebel problems. Okay, I'm going to move all the mercenaries into their own group and I'm basically going to disband them so I'm losing six of those guys six army men and okay I'm gonna have guys I'm, ba I'm basically I'm gonna have to reorganize my entire army anyways um, because I'm gonna have to start adding in let me just combine all these guys over here so I can figure out how much yeah our relationships have improved the very in order, I'm going to start getting cores on you so quickly. Okay, now that I have enough free time, I'm going to core these guys exactly the same. We are going to get Fabricate Claims onto Asturias. Asturias, and we're going to get Claims over here on Sleswig. Shilland. Shilland, because that's the last place we need. And then we are basically done. We have everything we need to, and then we just need to like do a waiting game for a little bit. So I'm going to need to combine all my army though right now, because I really don't know how much. Okay, the all the siege is now over with. Now will you guys, can I please get out of this war? Like seriously, can I please get out of this war? I'm not, I don't want to be a part of it. Oh dang, I don't have any diplomats to send, so I can't get out of this war. Dang it! Oh, I feel like I need to just go send all my army down there just to prove a point. It looks like somebody's already occupying them, but it's not me. Uh, I hope Lithuania turns its sights onto this after we are done. So we need to seriously destroy these guys. Uh, 
Got four men over here, which will, we're soon going to have the, the remnants of this, which basically means that we control a lot of this area. Like, I'm pretty sure now we can basically claim, well, regions-wise, call embarrasses the court. Oh, my goodness. Stability is not doing well right now. We are having more and more bad events happen. Uh, let's try and negotiate. That's really bad when I have to do that, but it's the only way. We have to kind of... Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to cancel one of these. Because I cannot stay in this war anymore. Like... Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Somehow, I just, I just can't bring myself to do it. I have to finish... You know, once I... If I'm still at war with these guys, even when the coring is up, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, Carlisle, Kalia... It's gonna be a. It's gonna be. I already knew it's gonna be like a, a place of haven for like the orthodoxy. Cause right now that's the place I'm converting, right? Right? Is that the place? Call I. Yeah. It's the place that's gonna have the most religious controversy. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start building up some cannons in my main place. Uh, oh, I don't have enough money. That's why. Well, I'm just going to go send all these guys to go destroy these Catholic, these orthodoxy people. Keep my army over there, because that's really where the... That's, if I must be honest with you guys, that's really where the main fighting is going to be happening for a very, very long time. Which is going to annoy me slightly. Just slightly. I'm not even going to be like... Oh, and they're, they're blocking me. Go send my army over there. Tuscany has accepted peace from my former enemy. Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! Finally, now I can gain everything back under control. Oh, thank you. Let me see. Let me see. Do I have all my advisors? Money now. Oh, my goodness. We're doing great on money. Coin costing us a ton. Like... Sure, why would I not give you money, Moscovy? Uh, yes. Okay, that's... That should be getting down our, um... Oh, oh my goodness, they killed him again! Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you, um... People. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I don't remember your guys' name. Okay. So, but, yeah, now that we have a free moment in time, we should definitely delete the rest of these mercs. Delete every merc I want to see one merc in my army anymore boom gone okay so now let's start making these divisions even so let's see one two wait and then I'll build a cannon okay so let's see it will be fine no safe has entered ah oh, who cares <laughs> Uh, I, I don't really care. You guys can be as angry as you want to be with me. I don't give a two-way tootin' about it anyway. Because you know what? I'm a, I'm Sweden. I'm basically the power in this place. You don't mess with me. I'm like the Don. You don't mess with me. No matter how much power you think you do. You don't mess with me. Okay? So, that's what's... They're gonna, they're gonna whine and fret all they want. Muscovy and all these other nations are gonna whine and fret as much as I want. By the way, does it actually show me who's in a coalition against me? A co a cohesion? No, it does not. Okay, but I have cores on the rest of Norway. That's good to know. But I don't really need to use it right now. And I'm really doing... This is what rank we have based on your total score. Okay, I'm doing pretty good then. Alright, so let me see. My maximum overexertion. My overexertion should be going down really fast. Manage. Let's just core the rest of this. Core the rest of this. And core the rest of this. Let's just use the rest of our cores. Let's get the rest of these cores underneath our control. That way we may uh, get rid of all this exertion. Because so I think this is really where... I see control. Okay, now we're getting out of control. Reduce this. Okay, now this is starting to get out of control. Ah, oh, dang, I didn't know they... Dang it. I'm going to wait for my, for my army to get under underneath here before I go after that new no. call to arms oh, dang. I just got out of the war I'm gonna have to decline this 
I'm, I'm sorry, Teutonic Order, but I really need a break. My army is basically crumbling. We overexerted ourselves. I already know I'm going I already knew I'd have difficulties right now, and now I'm gonna have to deal with them. So it's my loss. My king has left a coalition against us. What? Really? Why were you guys in a coalition against us? I was nice to you. I wasn't even thinking about co calling you guys. Like you weren't even on my radar. Like so, so, if I'm offending you guys, I'm sorry. But you guys were not even on my radar. Okay. So let's see. Yes. That's good enough. Go! Go, my men. Go kill these guys before they do any more harm to us. Which they shouldn't. Um, let's see. How much is that of a total manpower? Uh, has left the coalition against us. See, a lot of people just leave. Black. Oh, shoot. Uh, I've lost confidence in our government's ability. Dropped. Oh, no. A new king. Oh, wait. It's the better king. What am I talking about? That's actually good news. But oh no, did he transfer in in power at the wrong exact time? That is not a good sign. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be terrible for the next couple years. We're going to have to really, really work at this. So we don't have, we really don't have that much power, guys. We are in a very bad position. Like, usually, usually I would say we're in a kind of semi-good position. We're in a very bad position right now. Constable... Still not constable right there. Okay. You guys. Move down here. Go take some more land. This is basically going to be the main force I, I ever built. So I'm going to need a little bit more in terms of army men to be supporting it. And that means our conversion of this land is still going on. Yes. Yes, it's still going on. His progress at this point is 71%. My king, our agent, has discovered we have informed Sutherland. Okay, well, they now know that we're trying to conquer them. I really don't care. And, dang, I actually don't know how long an episode this has been. So, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, hopefully, I'll divide this episode smartly. But, I don't know. I actually made this, my made this episode too big. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Alright, never mind. Then again, messed up. Then again, messed up. That was not a time for a break. So I guess basically in this episode, guys, we'll be able to just flat out record the rest of the coin. Not the coin events. Nobles are worried. No, you better not drop an S ability. Now I'm worried. Thank you, nobles. Now I'm worried. Yeah, I know. We're now in deep doo-doo. Like, with that event, now we can seriously worry. Because we have no control over this now. This is scary. This could potentially make our nation terrible. Um, it's a good thing most of these guys don't want to rebel. A revolt. Oh, for some reason, most of the sound effects are gone right now. I don't know why, but they're just all turned off right now. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Okay, boost. Boost. We need to boost this while we still can. We need, we need to stop these rebels. Like, we seriously need to stop these. I discovered that Muscovy has... What? I, I didn't get that event. Come on, guys. Somebody, please. Okay, we, we really need to get stability. Like, we are... We, we are in desperate need of stability. Okay, I'm going to make another... Like, other shores right over here. And Hamgrad, just so we can have more troops. Okay. We are in dire situation, guys. I may have made the wrong decision by being too warlike. Okay, boost up stability. Yes! Okay. We're now at zero stability. The new king! King! Wait, what was his name? King Carl? A Cole? A Kale? Let me see, let me see. He's like the third. He's like the third. I'll, I'll probably just call him the third. King the third. Let me see his name. No, he's like the ninth. How do we get to the ninth? Wow, we are really good. Okay, so Gusta Ribbing, give them their support or uh, give them their support. Okay, good. Now we have that under their control. Kick these guys out. Okay, let's see. We're gonna make. We're gonna need to build a. Uh, let's see. One army man. Actually, we can probably build two army men. Okay, and yeah, 
so guys we are basically so I guess I guess the overall strategy guys is, is that we are going to basically try to unite all of Scandinavia before um we're basically gonna try to make Scandinavia before before the year becomes 500 um 500 I think that's a completely accomplishable goal and since I'm like one of the first like since I'm one of the best EU4 play people yet to come out on this game because I've done really well so far like really really quite well okay you guys we discover an agent whatever I don't have the I don't have any of the production nor money nor anything to really deal with it I'm basically trying to just make sure my empire does not fall apart at this point that'd be a really stupid alliance okay cuz right now we are we only you guys hate us why outraged what dishonored alliance wow that is a major bad modifier well you know what Teutonic it wasn't my fault you guys basically pushed me to the point where I had to dishonor it okay you guys decided to go to war while I was in a very bad okay this better not be a cult Okay, we are starting to... Uh, your favorite was the question that you... Uh, we had Crimea and... Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will lose an alliance with Lithuania over that. I am not doing that. Now they hate me. So they still love me. But they hate me. They still love me. I'm not... Sorry, guys. I'm... I, I just can't. That's just... We are in basically a, a situation where I'm being as conservative and as um, anti-war as possible. Because if we do any war right now, we're basically going to get our butts kicked. And that's the sad truth of things. Can I build soldiers here, by the way? Because that'd be really awesome. I can? Really? Let's build a... Let's start building this little tiny army over here. Up. So I'm probably going to lose this battle right here. Yeah, let's, let's just retreat. Retreat. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are made up of that, so let's start making more infantry men, and then that should be, that army right there should be good enough to fight against any men that possibly spawn in this region. Man, I'm getting, I'm becoming like a legitimate, like, evil guy, because I'm just not honoring any of my treaties, but that's because I'm right now in a bad position. I need to, like, lick my wounds, so to speak, or at least wait until I can lick my wounds, because I can't really fight any of these guys off. Like, we are... Oh shoot, we, we could basically go to war right now against Denmark, but I, what I'm going to be using this entire time to do is I'm going to try to get back my, my alliance with um, Lithuania, because we still got that, uh, so let me, we still got that uh, royal ties, so they're definitely, they're definitely not going to hate me, and I guess I'm going to go try to choose a new alliance, England, would England be a good alliance for me? England, England, England. I don't know. Cornwall would not be. You know. Uh, we could get the Teutonic Order back, but they're also allied with Lithuania, which it better not be considered me a rival because we were friends for long enough. Okay, let me see. Who are your guys' allies? You're allied with Moldavia, Teutonic Order, and Thorgrain. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to declare war. I don't want to fight the Teutonic Order. So we're going to have to find an opposite. Who hates the Teutonic Order? Rivals. Bohemia, Poland, and Mazazova. Poland might be a good ally. They might be the best. I'll be thinking about that. I'll be thinking about that. Let me just... First, let me get my entire army over here made up. Oh my goodness, those rebels better not cross into my land. Don't you dare cross into my land. I am very happy the way I am, and we're starting to get our overextension bonus, like, gone. I mean, once we get that gone, we'll basically be able to go to war again. Um, we got more troops over here, and I wanted to delete the rest of my, uh, mercenary bands, but I can't, because I'm going to have to fight. Let me get, wait for this cannon. Once I have this cannon right here, we should be able to go crush that army down there pretty dang easily. I mean, there, there are certain points where they will not be able to fight us. I mean, a cannon, come on. You can't win against a cannon. You just can't. Like, especially since we're into a military line. Oh, dang it. Back into this whole co cohesion thing. Ugh. 
They just never learn, do they? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep conquering you guys, and you guys are going to enjoy it, because I really don't care. Uh, but you guys, you guys are annoying. Oh, my goodness. I may have to actually get mercenaries to get these guys all dead. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to hire mercenaries for a second. Hire one mercenary band so that we can get some more morale. That's sad. How do we not win? Oh, yeah, because we're having everything. Basically, at this point, everything's going bad. Like, uh, boost one stability should be able to help out a lot, but it's still... Right now, all the rebels are, like, thinking, yay, this is a good time to do stuff. Okay, military alliance with... No, you guys formed a, a, a military co coalition against me. So, I'm not going to give you military access. Who you? I'm not that stupid. Okay. And now I'm starting to lose. You won! Yay! Okay, good. Okay. If, 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 really? Air, we have an air already? Really? Okay, how is he? Call ribbing 622. Pray for his life. Ouch. That was terrible. <laughs> well, I kind of knew that was going to happen. I was kind of expecting that to happen because, you know what? I did not like that guy. He was not good for our empire. Okay, let's see about over here. Who we convert in September? Wow, it's going to take a long time, but... At least once we get these guys converted, we will have a good standing over here. We have this army. So basically, I'm dividing my army somehow into two armies. This one over here and that one over there. Once I own all of natural Poland, then I will be fine. I'm basically, guys, I'm basically just buying time until I can own. I'm getting just going to wait for this to get up to like three stability. Wait for all my, uh... Okay, that's definitely being funded by this stupid, by stupid Muscovy. Do it. We gained a core. Yes. Okay. So that moved down some of our problems with overextension. In fact, we're getting a lot of our problems with overextension almost done with. Um, over here, I'm going to divide up all the mercenaries. Let's see. So we have a... So we have four troops. That's basically... Okay, so if I just make... One. Two. Can't do it yet here. Okay, and then just make it all right here. Okay, can't do it right there either. Okay, but yeah. I'm going to delete all the rest of these bands so that we don't have to deal with any more mercs. That should also help my economy a little bit. And while we're supporting our economy pretty well right now, I'm going to actually delete that because I actually don't need too much of that. Um, we're also going to go back to uh, here. Um, do exactly what we did earlier. Which is... Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to divide it in half. Let's get it back in. I'm going to divide you guys in a specific way. All you guys right here. Okay. Close it down, select these guys, protect my trade. I want you to protect my most valuable trade. Let's see, what's my most valuable trade? 241, 146, 344. Protect my Baltic Sea trade. That is my most valuable trade. I think we almost own a entire monopoly on that. I'm not, like, I'm gently thinking we almost own an entire monopoly on this. We... Uh, with 37%, if we own the rest of the Liberian, who has the biggest shareholder? The Teutonic Order. If we conquer the rest of the Teutonic Order, retain trade value. Yeah, if we just had the rest of the Teutonic Order, we would basically own all this. Why are we getting a lot of money from this? Okay, is Stava just decided to get some rebels? Not too many, but I can't actually deal with them. Okay, sending armies. Or I could just raise up an army over here, because I do have enough men. I mean, it isn't like, uh, yeah, I have enough, I have enough space right now. So let's just raise up an entirely new army over here. Three right now. I will make a horseman for them before I send them in. It'll take them a couple days before they'll be able to con seize through that entire thing. We just got through some more of our exertion. Okay, now things are starting to come up our way. Oh my goodness. And yeah, now we got some of these cores. Good. Now people are starting to realize how powerful we- Wow, we are dang powerful. Like, look at our score, guys. We are- Oh, really? Only 11th? Huh. We thought we'd been more- No, that's a really bad alliance. Hmm. 
Let's see, I'm going to not increase, but let's see, the manage the extension, it's getting better. Um, what was my goal? Oh yeah, com get complete another religious unity. It will, it's going to take a little bit, but I think it's actually magical. Um, yeah, we're almost there. Okay, you can almost do this, I can almost do this. I'm getting close to doing that too. Um, yeah, we're doing good now, guys. I now feel very good about this Let's Play. Like, we're starting to really stabilize in a lot of our regions and starting to, like, really come up with a lot of our stuff. And in a couple minutes, Sweden engage the diplomatic causes Belai. Yes, try, try to ease the tension. For once, I'm actually going to choose that because I actually do need better relationship with all my neighbors. Because I don't know who's in a quote a coalition against me and who isn't right now. I really gotta figure that one out. Okay, so let's see. You guys in a coalition against me. Choose allied wars. You guys have subjugate allied. No, I don't think any of these guys actually have cores on me. You guys are allied though with Normandy and Monster. So be more wise to declare one, you guys, because you have Cornell. And call a coalition against yeah I'd be more wiser to cut one you guys cause then Sweden will be brought into the war but you know that won't really affect me too much alright so let me move my troops from over there to over here let me build up some surrounding troops over here build up this I oh, dang I can't build up anything else Thought I could, but right now my my army's just doing great. So let me build up that one horseman. That one horseman guy is gonna go over here, defend that area. Then these guys are all gonna combine to make a big gigantic good army. And we're gonna go in a couple. We're almost ready, guys. This is we're getting the rest of the preparations done for our war against. We lost our claim on our province. Holy shoot! That's a big spider. Eh, spiders don't bug me. It's spiders don't honestly bug me. It's the roaches that bug me. Like I could deal with spiders all day, but it's roaches, man. Roaches. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have just lost some cores. So let's see. Is overextension bad or something? Is overextension really bad still? Or did we? Where's overextension? Where is overextension? There we go. Let's see, so we're almost done with all of our coin stuff. I'm probably not going to be able to make it. Probably going to have to use these guys to finish out the rest of these guys. Okay. Let's see, and then gain one cannon. We need like one cannon in this group. That way it can take on troops pretty effectively. Then we have our troops moving around here. And we are basically done, guys. The reign of King Carl has been successfully managed we have the, all these crises have been averted okay just wait just wait if you just wait you guys go kill go kill the rest of these guys and yeah, we'll go send our actual army in to go destroy the rebels that way they'll be completely crushed we won't even have to deal with them so bye bye rebels <laughs> Let's hope they do, do not gain my province. Do not gain my province. Yes! Okay. I did not gain Eldeva. That means we'll be able to core that soon. Oh my goodness. My king, they will now finally see in mere numbers against us. Has entered into a core. What? They did? Really? Really? Oh, great. Now we're going to have to wait until they leave the, the coalition before we can actually go do stuff. Oh, and you guys entered in too. What did I do? What did I do? I thought I was doing good. Okay, let's get some more of this. Let's get more of this. Okay. Over here, let's get more of this. I, I don't... Okay, guys, that's enough of the episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.